Now as Janus and Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds, reprobate concerning the faith, but they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men, as theirs also was. talk about from God's word what we can do to control our spirit if you have a bible turn to Colossians chapter 3 if you have an app you can do it there I'm going old school paper and leather if you don't have a bible maybe you're invited by a friend as we all turn there to Colossians 3 please do feel awkward no don't do that don't do that don't do that that's not that's not at all the right thing to say what I meant to say is we got a giant bible for you a huge Bible we're going to put up on the screen in a moment. In this house, we like big Bibles and we cannot lie. In this house, we like big Bibles and we cannot lie. In the 1930s, airplane instruments were standardized, so that no matter what cockpit you jumped into, you would, as a pilot, find the same basic configuration of gauges, and if in an emergency you were called to jump into the cockpit of any kind of plane, you never want to hear that, by the way. Is there a pilot on the plane? Oh my God. Oh my God. Right? But if a, if, a, if a pilot did jump into a plane he'd never flown before, he would, he would know what, where to find what. They called it, check it out, the six-pack. Here's what it looks like, the six-pack. Same basic configuration, and, and, and for decades it remained unchanged. Now today it's computerized, but they still have the analog version. Why? Because the robots are going to take over one day. And in that day, when the computer also all fail, there will still be the analog ones to fall back on. You're like, is that true? I don't know, but I'm worried. No, it's not true. I'm not worried. Basic six. Six pack. And, and these six gauges, I've chosen to take six different categories. Six different, if you take notes in church, which you should, because God might not be speaking something to your heart for today. It could be for next week that you need it. And you might not write it down, what I'm going to say, because you're like, well, that doesn't apply. It's not my word. That might be your word. It's not my word. But what if it's your word for six months from now? But what if it's your word for six months from now? And you didn't write it down because you were arrogant. And you didn't write it down because you were arrogant. You were presumptuous. Or maybe God's going to give it to you for somebody else. So you need to write it down for him. So you need to write it down for him. So, so I, what I would do if I were you is I would draw six circles. Three, three. Draw your own six back. So, so I, what I would do if I were you is I would draw six circles. Three, three. Draw your own six back. Greetings, I would just like to encourage anyone that has came across this video that are following such men like this that you need to flee these satanic dens. These men are satanic ministers, they are not of God, they preach lasciviousness, they jest around, they laugh, they joke about the word of God, they even mock the Bible. You need to come out, you need to believe the true gospel. You need to be born again by the word of God that liveth and endureth forever. They are false teachers, they are the blind leading the blind and if you follow them you will fall into the pit and you'll lose your soul for all of eternity. You need to believe the true gospel, read the Bible, cry out to God for the truth and God will save you.